past Chief Minister Narendra Modi has made it very clear that he is not in the race for the Prime Minister's post and that L.K. Advani is the NDA's Prime Ministerial candidate. That's right. In an exclusive interview to CNN, IBN's Pallavi Ghosh, Modi said that his priority was Gujarat. He also indicated that the NDA will look for an alliance with Jailalata and Mayawati if it comes to power. <laughs> बहुत लोग होते हैं जिनके जीवन में ड्राइविंग फोर्स एंबिशन होता है मेरे जीवन में मिशन ही सब कुछ है एंबिशन कुछ नहीं और मैं बचपन से उन बातों को सीखा हूं समझा हूं और कोशिश करता हूं जीने का प्रयास करूं वो है लेना पाना बनना ये मेरे जिंदगी के किसी भी रास्ते पर है नहीं कुछ करना ये जरूर मेरे उसूल है और जब जहां जो दायित्व तो मिले उसको अच्छे ढंग से करना अगर मैं किसी म्यूनसिपालिटी का चेयरमैन होता तो भी इतनी ही लगन से काम करता जितना मैं आज मुख्यमंत्री के नाम पर मुझे काम मिला करता इस चुनाव में भारतीय जनता पार्टी एनडीए पूर्ण बहुमत प्राप्त होने वाला है एब्सोल्यूट मेजोरिटी के साथ अडवाणी जी के नेतृत्व में भाजपा एनडीए की सरकार बनने वाली है एक तो वहां पर कोई सवाल उठता नहीं है लेकिन एज पर एज बीजेपी फिलोसॉफिक कंसर्न हम इस मत के हैं एक पार्लियामेंट मेंबर की पार्टी भी क्यों ना हो आज के देश की स्थिति में अकेली भाजप को टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी मिल जाए तो भी एक मेंबर वाली पार्टी को भी साथ लेकर चलना चाहिए रीजनल एक्सपीरियंस को ऑनर करना चाहिए देश को आज की स्थिति में चलाने के लिए कौन कहां चुनाव लड़ा उसके आधार पर निर्णय नहीं करना चाहिए बीजेपी को अकेले को टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी मिलने के बावजूद भी सबको साथ रख करके ही देश चलाना चाहिए प्राइम मिनिस्टर केम टू गुजरात यू ओनली टॉक टू द डेवलपमेंट डू यू थिंक द कांग्रेस इज फाइनली रियलाइज दैट दिस इज द ओनली इश्यू विच इन वर्ल्ड क्लीज इन गुजरात ओले जो उन्होंने बातें करते थे टू थाउजेंड टू एंड इवन देर बिगनिंग टू रियलाइज डजन मेक सेंस एट ऑल नॉट ओनली इन गुजरात everywhere in india people are fed up with this vote buying politics they want to change they want the politics of development and this is the mood of the people and this is only a driving force to change this government this time telling comments is now often we hear narendra modi speaking in english let's go across now to our chief political correspondent balvi ghosh who got us that interview who joins us from new delhi now uh, balvi was he under pressure uh, for the for making that statement he has that image across india as a right wing hawk was narendra modi under pressure to make that statement that he won't be the prime ministerial candidate i think mr tej is also playing extremely safe narendra modi is a very astute smart savvy politician he knows his game absolutely right uh, let's not forget that he was in center before that in the sense that he was in the party organization for instance he was for a five years he was in charge of himachal pradesh among other posts but the rise of narendra modi can be linked to him as the chief minister of gujarat that's where he gets his mandate from so for now he's playing it safe uh, what he, of course he's trying to point out is that for now his ambitions are limited to gujarat but after the nda comes to power he seems to be very confident of that one really can not blame him if he wants to shift over to the center so he doesn't want to pitch uh, or jeopardize his political future he doesn't want to take any kind of risk so for now of course he's ruling it out he also went on to tell us venkatesh when i pointed out to him that there is a local hoarding across ahmedabad there were these big posters big pictures of narendra modi smaller ones of adwani he was very quick to point out this is a correction which will need to be made and he thanked us for that but yes narendra modi's politics is very clear that till it's not sure that the nda comes to power the center he is happy going to be seen as a gujarat chief minister but of course his focus his influence is going to be pan india and then also pallavi uh, narendra modi also uh, sort of stressing on uh, the importance of regional players so is he really sort of hinting that the nda may not be able to get those numbers and uh, did he tell you anything more about uh, post poll alliances 
Well, if you look at both the main national parties, whether it's the Congress and the BJP, both do admit in private that they cannot form a government at the center without taking new allies along. So just as the Congress, even the BJP, is actually cobbling for more and more allied passes, especially in the post-poll scenario. We've heard Mr. Adwani tell CNN Ivan earlier that Jalaleta was more than welcome. The similar indication was given by Narendra Modi to us once again today when he said that every regional aspiration, every regional party, even if they have a single MP, will find a place in the NDA government. So certainly a hand being held out towards important regional players like Mayawati and Jalaleta. All right, Pallavi Ghosh, uh, we'll leave it at that, but uh, thanks very much indeed for giving us uh, uh, giving, giving us a sense of what Narendra Modi was trying to say in that interview. We'll of course play out that uh, interview a little later and all through the day on CNN. I've been very, very significant uh, statements uh, coming in from Narendra Modi. Uh, also spoke about uh, uh, the, the, the fact that Gujarat has been seen in the past uh, as a place uh, where development takes place, but of course... Uh, what happens is that the 2002 Godra riots ghost uh, continues to loom large. It casts a long shadow over Gujarat and Narendra Modi also saying uh, uh, in that interview that uh, 2002 the riots of Gujarat are not any longer an election issue, not just in Gujarat, not just across the country, but also in Gujarat. He also said that development is going to be the big issue. So that was the interview which uh, Narendra Modi gave to uh, uh, Pallavi Ghosh. Let's listen in uh, once again to what, what else he said. Don't you have your own personal ambitions? What do you want to do with your mind? There are a lot of people in whose life there is a driving force ambition. In my life, there is ambition. There is nothing to do with it. And I have learned from my childhood, and I have tried to live and try to live. वो है लेना पाना बनना ये मेरे जिंदगी के किसी भी रास्ते पर है नहीं कुछ करना ये जो मेरे उसी और जब जहां जो दायित्व मिले उसको अच्छे ढंग से करना अगर मैं किसी म्युनिसिपालिटी का चेयरमैन होता तो भी इतनी ही लगन से काम करता जितना मैं आज मुख्यमंत्री के नाम के मुझे काम मिला है करता पोस्ट पोल अलायंस आप सोच रहे हैं जेल लेता मायावती ये तो अंताचु बुलाने नाम है इस चुनाव में भारतीय जनता पार्टी एनडीए पूर्ण बहुमत प्राप्त होने वाला है एब्सोल्यूट मेजोरिटी के साथ अडवाणी जी के नेतृत्व में भाजपा एनडीए की सरकार बनने वाली है एक तो वहां पर कोई सवाल उठता नहीं है लेकिन एज पर एज बीजेपी फिलोसॉफिक कंसर्न हम इस मत के हैं एक पार्लियामेंट मेंबर की पार्टी भी क्यों न हो आज के देश की स्थिति में अकेली भाजपा को टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी मिल जाए तो भी एक मेंबर वाली पार्टी को भी साथ लेकर चलना चाहिए रीजनल एक्सपीरियंस को ऑनर करना चाहिए देश को आज की स्थिति में चलाने के लिए कौन कहां चुनाव लड़ा उसके आधार पर निर्णय नहीं करना चाहिए बीजेपी को अकेले को टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी मिलने के बावजूद भी सब तो साथ रख करके ही देश चलाना चाहिए प्राइम मिनिस्टर केम टू गुजरात की ओनली टॉक टू द डेवलपमेंट डू यू थिंक द कांग्रेस इज फाइनली रियलाइज But this is the only issue which will work at least in Gujarat. Earlier they would have backed it up to the 2002 and all that. Even they are beginning to realize it doesn't make sense at all. Not only in Gujarat. Everywhere in India. People are fed up with this vote by politics. They want to change. They want the politics of development. And this is the mood of the people. And this is only a driving force to change this government this time. Well, that's right. Uh, you hear it first on CNN, IBN, an exclusive interview with Narendra Modi there, talking about uh, the elections and much, much more. Yes, you can log on to IBNPolitics.com for more election news. We'll bring you more in this bulletin as well. But for the moment, let's turn to that big swine flu alert.